we're back. I have the NC Miata differential on the bench today. Just the one that was in the earlier video in the background. And as you can see, it's been restored. There's no paint on this differential. Believe it or not, that has not been painted. That is the factory finish. I re-up the assembly line marks on it. That's about it. This is your input flange restored. Looks great. The cover. Drain and fill bolts. All the hardware. Again, nothing's been replaced, just restored. Our new parts that are going in. This is going to get a 477 uh, ring and pinion ratio, and that's going to take some putty mod trickery to do, and we'll get into that into the next segment of this video. But just to give you an idea that these parts actually come out better than new, this is the original drain magnet to this differential. Okay, this is one brand new in the package from the factory. I'm going to open it up here. Videotape this stuff. <laughs> All right, here you go. I'm going to take it out of the package and just cut it open. And this is out of the package, brand new from the factory. OEM stock. This is the restored piece. So. That's actually uh, better than no. Pretty cool, right? All right, thanks for watching. We'll get into the next segment. And we're back with the uh, NC Miata differential, getting the 4.77 short gear ratio and surprise, a Quaif limited Super slip. close now. Pattern is looking really good. I just want to tighten up this backlash now. So we'll get it all taken apart and I will move these shims around and, uh, and shift this carrier over a few more thousands to get it right where I want it to be. Stand by. Getting ready to set the bearing caps for the last time. And we use ARP torque uh, fastening lubrication. This lubrication will assure us a perfect torque setting and we won't have to worry about these bolts coming apart, backing off or doing anything strange. Also note, this is a 4.77 ratio, and like the 363, like most of you guys want in these NC Miatas, this shifts this carrier really hard to the left. You can see how heavy it's shimmed here on the right. And we go back over here, and you see how thin the shims here are on the left. This is the driver's side in America, the left side of this car. Okay. And this is how this differential will sit in the car uh, when you have a left-hand drive vehicle. Okay, what it will do if you don't do anything to this differential is this axle is going to protrude out just a little bit further and can cause a leak at that axle seal because it's, the seal is not quite sitting exactly where it needs to sit on that axle. So we have the fix for that. And uh, I'll be installing that here shortly. And uh, we are exclusive to that. This is our thing. And uh, we designed it, developed it many years ago. And um, if you want a 363 or some other different type of ratio that isn't common to this, ca uh, this case here, then you're going to have to come see us because we can make it so that it goes down the road, looks perfectly factory fresh. Even the dealership won't know that anything's been done. And, uh, and you won't have a leak. Uh, late night, Saturday night, 80s night, here in the shop. Here's our backlash, right at three thousandths, perfect. Got an excellent pattern here. I'll get to the other side for you. Here's your other side, coast and drive side, perfect. Quaif LSD, 477s. NC Miata. All right, we're getting ready to put the cover on now. Well, there's Shop Kitty. Hey, Shop Kitty. The 
Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to have to get you down, babe. We're going to show these people this uh, differential here. This is the NC Miata differential with the three, uh, 477 in it and the Quaif LSD. It's all finished and buttoned up. Uh, time is, let's see, uh, after 9 o'clock, quarter after, and I got to load it up. And uh, it came out great. Looks perfect. Looks like it just went down the assembly line. All the markings are still back on it again. Fully restored. Axle seal modification done to it so that when you use a 363 or this 477 in it and you insert that axle, you won't have a leak. That's an exclusive to this shop. We're the only ones that do it. We designed it, invented it, all that good stuff. Come on, shop kitty. And uh, it looks bone stock, as you can see. You can take this thing to Mazda, have a, a gear oil change, and they would never know the difference. Everything looks perfectly factory, perfectly stock. And it is reversible if you ever wanted to take it out, put a 410 back in this thing. It could be done, or a four, uh, 373, which will be a direct fit for this differential case. But once you get into that 363, this 477, a 444, a 430, or anything like that, you will have uh, a heavy shift in that carrier, and you will want to have that that seal uh, fix uh, for your car, or you're gonna you're gonna have a leak. Well, thanks for watching. We'll get into the next one here.